This episode of Live at the Blue Box has been brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Welcome to Live at the Blue Box. It is now time for video game night. We're hey Molly, is this mine? Yes. Hey, I got water. Yes. Uh, so we're making this one up. If you've never been here before, or even if you have, you may have forgotten this. What we do is very much experimental theater. We make it up as we go along. Uh, some nights we are somewhat formatted, and on other nights it's this. But we have a theme tonight. So tonight's video games. What we're going to do is kind of fold in a couple of things. We love audience participation, though. So if you want to talk, you've got something to say, chime in. We have microphones up here. You can come up and talk to us. Uh, we'll let you know when you can do that, I guess. Uh, do but, whatever you want. But you come know on up. We're going to start off. It's going to start out with Lil and I here. And then, like, I know Teresa and Scott, probably Ward, everybody wants to come up at some point. Um, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Rob Southgate, co of Southgate Media Group. Uh, my name is Alil Kanitza. I do a podcast called the League of Geeks podcast, and that's Geeks with a Z. Uh, I also do Enough Said with Rob, where we talk about Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Kind of. Yeah, kind of, whenever we stay on track. Uh, plus, plus a dozen other podcasts. So. Yes. A lot of our podcasts. A lot. We have a lot of podcasts. Yes. So, all right. Now we got all the business out of the way. Let's get into it. So, today... Okay. I wanted to draw inspiration. So, I, I, first of all, I'm a big video game guy. I'm sure, like, everybody here plays video games, right, At, to some extent? Who here Actually, does not like video games? I'm going to say false to you, lady. Do you play Is anything on your phone? who doesn't play? Because Do you ever play a game on your phone? Have you ever played, like, Solitaire on your phone? You don't like any of that stuff. She's like, I hate anything on a screen. I don't like... I'm a Luddite. I take a shovel and I draw things on the back. All right. Good Lord. You are sharp. I don't know which one is mine. Yeah, well. We'll let you know when you're too sharp. How about that? Is All right, that who, who else here does not like video games? Sharp. I don't know if Alil's ever been sharp. I'm more, I'm more round. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to comment uh, on maybe that. Maybe so. pear-shaped. You know? Okay, is that better? Yes. Is that sure. better? Now, 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 Hold on. Uh, now I have to scream Me? into my mic. No. How about you? How's hello, Chris? Hello, hello. Okay, you know who's the loudest? Is Martha, to tell you the truth. Yes. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, anyway. So... Other than my mom, we're all video game fans to some extent. Uh, and, is that and the true? thing is, a lot of people don't realize they are anymore because it's, it's permeated so much of our lives. I mean, I can't believe. I, everywhere I go, somebody's like opening up their phone, playing a quick little thing. When we were kids, not even all my friends played. Well, it was like kind of a weird thing. Well, when you so, were kids, all they had was Pong. Shut up. <laughs> No, no, that, <laughs> no, no that, actually, on, that's true for phone? me. Yeah, Rob's a little bit okay, younger so than no, Rob. No, I Rob, was, Rob had the, what was the Intellivision where you actually put like a, a plastic screen over your TV dude, so you could see in, the pong on, go back in and first forth. Intellivision was, first of all, that was not Intellivision. That wasn't Intellivision. No, that was... That was... No, was no. that the Odyssey? That Odyssey. was the Odyssey. Odyssey. It was Odyssey. It was Panasonic, right? Panasonic Odyssey. So today... Today, to draw inspiration, we watched a documentary called Video, Video Game, Game the, the Movie. Movie. I've seen it 20 <laughs> times on Netflix. That's a fantastic. Well, movie. aren't actually, you special? I love no, that. I, I do. I put actually, it on when I'm cleaning the house. I got it in the background. Actually, I'm going to say it's Wait, not a fantastic while movie. While you're pretending to clean the house or when no, you're cleaning No, I clean my house. All right? Don't, don't go is there. This, <laughs> <laughs> don't that, go is there. It, is this where the Z comes in? I'm just yeah. Like, um, it's not a fantastic movie. It's a great movie for video game fans where you like seeing the history, but I think it could have been... I, I think it should have been more of like a 10-part documentary. Well, I would have been more into that. 
10 parts of shame. Here, yes. Here's the thing. Like, with, with, with doing something like the history of video games, when you have such a huge rush in the early 80s, you could have had 20 hours of, of discussion in that time period. Well, we're going to fill that in here. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to fit that in in an hour and 45 minutes. And then you've got the Nintendo era. Right. And which you can have your own right. documentary on right. that could go on forever. And then the disc era. Yes. Goes and then, yeah, from PlayStation yeah. on. No, I agree. I agree. Uh, what's his name? I'm drawing a blank here. The, the documentary filmmaker that makes, he made Civil War and he made, Ken Burns. Ken Burns should make a video game documentary. For Time Life? Yes. See? Can, can we, we do the commercial? Can yes. we do the commercial? Hi, this is Rob from Time Life. <laughs> yes. With that big headset on. He's like, oh, hello. Would you like your free? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have collector's would, plates, too. We, Here's Mario. <laughs> Here's Luigi. I would buy them. I know you would. So you're, well, Ten of them. Don't buy so them. So anyway, one. we watched that. And what's interesting is if you are somebody who likes video games and you like that kind of like deep knowledge stuff, or you don't care about video games, but you like that deep knowledge, then it's really interesting to watch. Because they show things like the Odyssey. I knew, I'd read about the Odyssey, but I had never seen that plastic screen. That was crazy. Yeah, so if you don't know what it is, it's basically just a plastic screen that you have Velcro, and you have different screens that you stick on your TV. Right. And it's and then two pong can- paddles... But they can do, they can move all around. So, like, you want to play hockey. You put a, it's a hockey. Well, no. It's a hockey. It's like it a, was an overlay that had a hockey rink, but it was still two right, pump paddles. Two right. paddles. And they were going back and forth. Right. Like hockey, yeah. Yeah, what you, what you overlaid was the hockey rink or a basketball court or whatever. And then you moved the things. But it was really pong. Now, right. Which I is actually, amazing. I actually, you mentioned be- offline, you mentioned Nolan Bushnell, who is the, the creator head of Atari, right? Yep. Yes. So... I'm actually a big Nolan Bushnell fan. So I, I'm going to tell you why in a second here. There's a book. I read a, I read a book on this, too. Uh, the movie is great, but there's a book I recommend to everybody. It was written by, I believe he wrote for the Sun-Times. Like, eh, I can't remember his name. It's called The First Quarter. Clever name. The first of, Order? The History of Video Quarters. Games, The First oh, Quarter. First Quarter. Martha's going to get it in about 30 seconds. Quarter? Wait oh. for it. Yes. Uh, anyway, it's, it's a really fantastic read. gives you a lot of the history. In there, it spends a good amount of time talking about how Atari started. It talks about Space War, which was the MIT game that was started. For those of you that don't know, we should probably kind of fill in the blanks. Video games, the, in the movie, they talk about where did it start and who's the, the originator. I am of one mindset, no question. S- it started Kent. at MIT when they had the first... Screen. Yes, Stephen Lent. Is that his Kent. name? Stephen L. Kent. Kent. Yeah. It's called The First Quarter. It's a great book if you can find it. Um, I, I read it twice. I loved it so much. Uh, anyway, I believe that video games started at MIT. They created a game called Space War. It was the first computer that had a video screen. In the movie, they make it a point talking about how, well, maybe it started in the 40s with this, these electronic games. And that. Those are electronic games. That's different. Video games are on a monitor. MIT is where it started with Space War. And that was the inspiration for Pong. And that was what inspired Bushnell. Right. The reason I'm such a big Bushnell fan is his approach to all of this. His approach to business. I, this is where I'm going to share my Bushnell thing. The thing that the reason I, I say I'm a big fan. It, it says, what? It's not weird. No, but you're like, I'm going to share my Bushnell well, thing. Well, I want to say because I'm sitting here like I'm a Kinda big fan. Kind of sounded weird there, Rob. I'm it it was. Fan, but it's like it's not because of Atari. When, when he went into college, he wrote a paper going in. And in this paper, his, his whole thesis was that you, you get an interest and you learn everything you can about something for three years. So he said, and he was saying, you know, I'm going to go to college, but I don't, I'm, I don't want to declare a major because it's going to change, because I'm going to lose interest by the fourth year. And, and he, he talks about how you get an interest in airplanes, let's say. And we all do this. We get obsessed. Podcasting, I got obsessed. I listened to everything. I started a network because of it. It was obsession. It lasts about three years, and then you start moving on to the next thing. You learn 90% of what you're going to learn in that three years. And he talks about that in this, in this book. 
And to me, that was just, it really struck a chord. It's something I've kind of lived my life by since. There you go. I'm off my soapbox. Sorry, everybody. That got all serious. What happened? I, I don't know why it's about man. video games. I want to talk about yeah, video games. But I do. I was talking about Nolan Bushnell. That's a, he's a, a really interesting character. He's the guy that started Chuck E. Cheese, too. Showbiz Pizza. Love Showbiz Pizza. See? All right. So anyway. Do they so, sponsor League uh, of Geeks? So sure. you, did you have Pong? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Of course. I think, do you guys remember... I think we had Pong, but it got overshadowed so fast when Atari came out. Well, absolutely. Well, I mean, Pong, that initial, like, we can play this game on, on your TV set, that was probably the bigger draw than the actual game with that, and then you could do four players and stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, when Atari came out and then the Sears ultimate ripoff of the Atari system, yeah, right. which is what I owned as a child because you my, had that. my grandmother worked for Sears, so she got a huge discount. And she, she got bought, you that and some tough yeah, skins, and you was, were on your way. Yeah, I, was, I was on my way. It was fantastic. Um, Garanimals? That wasn't Sears? No. That's no, Walmart. Skins. That's a Walmart. It's a kind of Sears. I mean, that was... No, that, we went and got Atari at, at, at Sears. They had Atari there. They you did. could buy it. And then they ordered my, uh, my Star Wars figures when you could order and you just got the base before the figures came out. That was Sears also. I have that at home right now. Sears, I'm sure you do. I, I wasn't alive when that happened, so... All right, mister. I mean, so I, I, well, number one, Pong. When I remember as a child, was pretty expensive. The initial, the initial setup, and then nobody really had TVs that you could set it up to without some contraption. Sure. I remember it being very difficult. It wasn't like, oh, let's just plug this into the USB port and let's go. Um, there was you had to set it up to the antenna, do channel three. Do you remember there was? Yeah, I remember that, there was a the box. RF there was a slider the box that, that you so that you could leave it on there so you could hook up your antenna. Not cable to your TV, and right. it was very cable. Yeah, cable was, didn't exist. It was very hanky, and then, but it, it was good. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, when well, and, and like, I remember with Atari, like my 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 dad, like don't don't have it on there too long. It's going to ruin the TV, and you know all that kind of stuff. And it had that janky thing sticking out the side. Yeah, he still says it had that janky thing on the side. You had to had to pull, and yes, yeah, it's all good. Now, did you get an Atari right away? We did, like I said, we did not have the oh, Atari. Oh, you had the Sears, yeah. We had the Sears version. I wasn't which, paying attention. But it was the same exact thing, just with hey, it's a lil. That's okay. It's a lil. It's a lil being fidgety. But no, then we got the you know, and I can't remember what Sears called it, but it was like the you know. Yeah, what was it? it I think it, I think they called VCX? it the twenty six hundred, but they called it. It was like instead of Atari twenty six hundred, they called it. I think they could. It wasn't Odyssey, but it was something like that 2600. Yeah, it was something. It was the same exact games because it wasn't really that hard yeah, of a I, program. I had Atari, and then I remember my, my neighbor down the street got the Intellivision, and he thought he was the bomb because, you know, Intellivision, I got the, the hot newness. Intellivision had some great games for I, that early stuff. I hated it. I hated it because I hated the controller. Yes. Do you guys remember the controller on that thing? Was you that had the, Intellivision? Was that the ball? Is that the ball? No. No, the television, it, it was had like a, a keyboard, it, and then like it was oh, bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and that thing was always broken. Yes. But the game, the, the graphics compared to the Atari were a real step up. Hey, Teresa, you probably know what that was called. The one at Sears, the Sears ripoff of the Atari. It was the Sears Video Arcade. The Sears Ooh, Video Arcade. That's, we have people paying attention in the audience <laughs> and the Internet. <laughs> Wait awesome. A Wait a minute. Somebody mark this day in history. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. And... Kathleen, <laughs> yes. that's awesome. So the Sears Video Arcade. Oh, Lil's over here like, I had the PlayStation when I was four. No, I had the Atari 2600, but I did not have the uh, wood grain one. I had the second version that came out. What? I had the wood grain, and I have the, the case. You oh, get the, the case. black case, the carrying case? No, no, no. This was a hard case oh. that was wood grain to match the Atari. I was, I was slick, man. Pull out my Atari Circus, pop that in. Yeah, yeah. See you oh, now. Yeah. Now what was the, the only best? game? The only game I cared for on the Atari was Pole Position. That was the that only. That wasn't on Atari, was it? Yes, it was. That was on the Atari Fifty Two Hundred. That was that on the regular Twenty Six Hundred. Really? Yes. Because on the Fifty Two Hundred, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, the paddle. Because yeah. you use that for Circus. Oh, Warlords was awesome. Yeah, Knight Rider. Yes. yes. Actually, I can't say that was the only game I cared about because I did have Spider-Man on the Atari 2600. 
Oh, I bet the quality was awesome. Where you gotta, you gotta dodge the Green Goblin, <laughs> climb up, swing. Do you dodge remember the, the Superman goblin. game on there? That was awful. That was so bad. It was awful. It, it, it's it was the almost only, as bad as E.T. All, I was just going to say, it's almost uh, as bad as E.T. And E.T. was the worst well, e. thing you, ever. Th- I mean, E.T. wasn't even a finished game. So, I mean, I know. Right. Well, e. no, I, at least I mean, Superman was finished, and it was really It bad. wasn't good, but it wasn't. I wouldn't say it was that bad. No, it, it wasn't Superman good. Superman was really bad. Uh, it, yes. it did. But he, it, he looked like a little pudgy Superman. Well, it's an you know, what they should have done. Do you guys remember Superman 3? Like, they actually had an Atari game playing during that part at the end. Right. Uh-huh. They, they should have made that into a game, but they didn't. Right. Disappointing. Right. <laughs> Disappointing. Disappointing. He's disappointed. I am. Let's talk about the real system. Let's okay, about you're, you're moving junk. on? So, no, I actually love my turn. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We had a request. To, oh, to, Sega. We had a request to try to do the top. Let's just pick the top three Atari games. But, see, this is tough because it's just going to be our favorites. Our favorites. That's how we have to roll. But we want to see what you guys say. I would say if I had to pick the top three right now, Adventure, Combat, Circus. Those were my three. Of the early system? Of the early, the Atari 2600. I'm going. I, I would say pit. I would say pitfall. Pitfall is better than adventure. Come on, the stick figure jumping from the rope. Pitfall. Yeah, and I, falling into you it. The I'm, a, I'm trying to decide because it was a better game, but I if I, I don't know. I, I did play the heck out of that. What? Duck no. Duck, Nintendo. That's why you're not on this panel. That's There's NES, no light right? Gum? That's NES system, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. There's no light when, gun. How about Uncharted? I love that on there. Yeah. Halo on the Atari was terrific. Uh, you know what? That would be terrific. Halo. It would go like a, it would just be black and it would be like move two minutes later. It'd be oh, fantastic. Yeah. But combat was great. That was one that came with it. I loved it. I, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go is pole combat position. The, is combat pole position. The tank okay. One? Yeah. I'm, yes. I'm gonna go pole position pitfall. And I'm gonna go with one that I played just all the time. Was um, was centipede? Oh, I hated no, that. No, millipede on my Atari. was on Atari. I know it, wasn't it was centipede, better was in, it? The, in the arcade, but when you I was, it. it's like when I was four years old and my parents bought me the fifty dollar Atari twenty six hundred. Sure, that's what I got. So. It's it's like, uh, did he get a loan from Muhammad Ali to get that for you? I think so. Um, <laughs> Muhammad like, tipped him and said, "Here, <laughs> buy your kid an Atari." It was, it was a Christmas <laughs> present for like ten years for our whole family. Oh, yeah. It's like. Uh, it's like playing Pac-Man on there for me. Pac-Man, Pac-Man was, on there was awful. It was blue, awful. Right. Blue screen Pac-Man was the remember worst how he went, port he, how he moved, I could ever like, imagine. It was terrible. Well, they just couldn't make the, it didn't make the transition. No. The no it's not even they made the transition. They didn't take their time to. I, right. I what happened was, say, what happened was, is that was a, a beta test, and it, Atari needed to get it out quick. They took the test and just published it. They didn't even they didn't mean, care. It wasn't even done with the game. They, they made money. It didn't matter. Well, that's, but that's why, that's why the, the crash in 84 happened. I will, I will say dun, dun, dun. that I will move Pitfall in there and take Adventure out. Because as we're sitting here talking about it, Pitfall was the game. Yeah. But Adventure was the first one that gave me that story. Yes. Frogger. I would say Frogger. Oh, Frogger Atari? Atari? What? I don't remember it on Atari. I, I played it on Atari. Yes. It was on Atari. They ported everything on Atari. Yeah. Hey, I knew a guy that actually, when in high school, wrote the code Atari for Atari? Dig Dug. But his name isn't on it. But he, wrote, wow. he, he was hired to, to port Dig Dug onto all the different systems. So when you see that crappy Dig Dug, that's a guy I knew. Pretty crazy, huh? I liked Dig Dug on the Nintendo. but we'll I did, too. Here. I did, too. I loved it. And remember that other one, Mr. No or Mr. Bo or something? There was one that was like a totally dig dug. It's the same game. That's, that's 90% of all the games for all those systems. They were just the same games repeated. Yeah, yeah with different colors. So, Chris, you didn't say you're three. I, I thought that I, I, did, I chimed in. I thought Pitfall by far. Pitfall. And I thought Centipede, Millipede, whichever version of that game was a great one to play. And then we talked about Frogger. I don't know why I love Frogger. I love getting run over by a bus. It was. I just. I. I did. I loved like running back and forth and then just go splat. 
Yeah, it was now, fantastic. now that you're saying it, I think that is the system I played it on. I did love that. Although it might have been Nintendo where I really played that one a lot. Well, that was on the Nintendo as well. They ported it on there and there on was the one Game Boy. I and played it on a lot. I liked it. But Frogger is is Atari generation time. Yeah, it, no, it, it, it's an earlier game. Yeah, and there was a I think it was PlayStation, maybe it was even Dreamcast version of Frogger. <laughs> it was like updated. Anyone remember this one? Yep, I had it, and it was really good. It was like when they did the championship edition of Pac-Man. Anybody play that? On Xbox 360, there's a championship edition of Pac-Man that is unbelievably fun. Hmm. And you think, oh, it's Pac-Man. And the first time you play it, you're like, oh, I get it. I'm being Pac-Man. And then all of a sudden, it's got these levels. Like, one is all ghosts. And all you do is just chase ghosts and eat them. Like, thousands of ghosts. And at the end, you're like, that was the most satisfying game ever! (laughs) Yeah, it's really good. yeah, it's it's called Championship Edition Pac-Man. You're always waiting for the to hear the sound when the, they're gonna change, but they yep. never do. Yeah, it's, oh, it's so good. Nice. I remember having nightmares about that sound. I used to love playing Pac-Man. I mean, back yeah, about in, the sound. Well, back in uh, back in the arcade when you would be chasing the right. ghosts, and you know when you get up to level, you know, in the '60s the, the ghosts would like change like that. And, yeah. You know, they go the wah 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 wah, and you'd be getting ready to run. Nightmares. Nightmares. So, because I remember missing, going, what, 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 what did you guys say? Is there a different one in the top three? I said centipede. Ooh, Asteroids Ast- on. Really? Asteroids on the 2600. Are you saying the same? What about Missile Command on 2600? Missile Command was awesome. Missile Command. But you look back at that, it's like, oh my God, that was an actual game that we played. You're like. That, that my parents paid like 50, 60 right. bucks to get. Moon Patrol. Ooh. Do you guys remember Moon Patrol? I remember Moon oh Patrol. Oh my gosh. You were on the bucket, that. right? Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, of course, Martha got the name wrong all the time. She called it Moon Control. So that she was like, "Oh, let's play Moon Control." I'm like, "I have no idea what that is." Moon, I mean, I, right. I looked up some. I looked up some stuff from just the Ataris in general. And remember, Mule. Mule was awesome. Mule. It was fantastic. What is Mule? Right. Actually farming like carrots and Yeah, it was yes. it was fan like, it was a fan like Oregon Trail. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oregon Trail's the best. The original Oregon Trail was amazing. Mules, yes. I always, I always love when you died. Have you yeah. seen the, the zombie Oregon Trail somebody made a mod of? Oh yeah. It's you you think like, oh, it's just gonna be dumb, it's they're just making zombies. No, it's even better. Like just the fact that they're zombies. You have died of dysentery. Right. Love it. it. I never knew what dysentery was when I was five until, years old. Until you watched, uh, yeah, that, that's her. I mean, well, like Galaxian, the one they imported it on the Atari, was really good in Galaga. See, I, for some reason, my memory on these are a little spotty, but, and I had a ton of Atari games. Well, and in the, fact, I collected for a while. There was they, a place that had used ones that we, I bought, like, a ton of, but I can't remember these games being on there. I think I, I got more into... Nintendo and right. beyond. By then you got there. Do you remember Star Raiders? Star Raiders was one of those highly thought of games from them. They just yeah, you know, typical. And then there's ET. Then there's not ET. highly thought of. Cuber. Cuber was fifty two though. It was they, it was I mean, advanced. They had a port for twenty six. They they, but they, but they backported it. It but wasn't right, originally. Right. It they wasn't had originally. it on the twenty six. But it wasn't original. It. it wasn't original on the twenty six. But the fifty two hundred was like the holy grail to yeah, me. Then that was a well, great the game. The fifty two hundred was more like the arcade. It yes. really the 2600, was. Twenty six hundred again was was similar to like the Pac Man port, which was just my, not colored right. But and my Cuber wasn't Andy bad on twenty six. They had figured that out, but it was but a fifty two game. That was fifty two. My friend Andy had the fifty two. And like I never cared for racing games, but pole position, hours and hours oh, yeah. of pole position. Because it looked so good on there. We we weren't rich. We didn't have a fifty. Nah. I'll see either. You can only afford twenty six. We I had the Odyssey. Odyssey. And only when it was fifty bucks, because I don't know if you guys yeah. remember I, I remember that commercial, man, where it was like Atari twenty six hundred or fifty it was like it was Toys R Us was selling them for fifty bucks, like forty nine ninety nine. And that's that's I'm, not I gonna, got my 26. I'm not going to disparage my grandmother. I think she lifted it and gave it to us. <laughs> well, you know, it's wrapped in some tough skins. Exactly. It was like I got, I got this out. Somebody returned it. She said, here, have this. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Yeah. We, 
Crucial she did. She got it and got all the games. I mean, they, and they were expensive. Remember the cartridges having to blow in them to make contact because well, that was all, be something that was that every, that was every cartridge, every cartridge system had that yeah. problem. Well, you couldn't make the connection. I mean, they right. wear out. So, yeah. All right. So moving on from there. Well, no, I'm not going to hit the next one. I want to go to something else for a second. What? Because at that same time, before the Nintendo era. There's a really important era that, that was going on concurrently that the actually era? was the bigger influence for me. was the arcade. Oh, yeah. The ColecoVision was awesome, but the arcade. <laughs> That's now, awful. Oh, the ColecoVision Game was horrible. You're younger. Were arcades still a thing? Yeah. I because mean, for us. Oh, it was gigantic. Yeah, but the thing is, I was younger, so it's like I, I couldn't go until my parents could take me and... You know, you only had, you know, I didn't, I didn't get to hang out. And hey, I mean, there's a quarter. There you go. Here, right, kid. Exactly. I found this on the floor. Go play a game and you're done. Yeah. yeah. 30 yeah. seconds. You'd be like, rats. Yep. Great. I'll try Drag- Dragon's Lair. Oh, Ooh. done. And, but Dragon's Lair was 50 cents. Remember? Dragon's Lair was 50 cents and it was a big decision. Do I play two, Do I play Tempest or Pac-Man or what? No, no. It, I remember my friend Pat. There was an arcade in Hoffman Estates, and my friend Pat, after the summer, like, we meet up back at school, like, hey, man, how was your summer? Oh, it was great. Like, I'd gone to camp or something. I said, what'd you do? And he said, I played Dragon Slayer. It's like, okay, so did I. He goes, no, that's what I did all summer. (laughs) I stood in the arcade, and I beat it. I was like, how much did that cost? He's like, Hundreds. Oh, I bet. He played. Do you remember that game? All he played. I, I've seen it. I don't. I don't it was know. one of those. It was the first v, video yeah, rise. It, it, it was a video. Actually, yes. It was actually a card. Yeah. Laser disc. It was the first laser disc. That's game. why you were in love with laser discs. Oh so my gosh! I still have two hundred laser discs at home. I love it. And and what's crazy is they put them out on. They put out Space Ace and Dragons. Are you guys remember those games? Awesome games. And there's a Dragons. Yeah, and it would skip, and it would, game's over, yep. And he'd go, ooh, and die. Right. Yep. Uh, but when DVDs first came out, some company bought the rights and put out both, of the, both games on DVD. Oh, wow. So you would play it on, with your DVD controller. I still have Space Ace. And it's amazing. It plays exactly like the game because there were no controls in the game. It was left, right. Right. That was it. You and it would, it would blink, and you had to do it right on time. And, of course, I never got it. Like, you get through the first, like, minute of the game, and then... Sure. Remember you had to jump on those, lo- those like, rocks? Yeah. Done. Game over. Pat that, played it to the end. That was huge. Well, that was a huge technology leap for oh, back then. Don Bluth did the animation for that, too. Animator friend. Don Bluth. That's a good... Yeah, I remember there Come was on, a Katie. You know Don Blue. There was is. an arcade yeah. in Northbrook called Peacock's Palace that really couldn't have been much bigger than the interior of, of here. Okay. Maybe a little bit bigger. And there would literally I bet be that wasn't noisy. No, it was number one. It was noisy. Number two, it was hotter than holy heck in there because of all the machines throwing out. You know, oh my who, gosh. who knows what X rays, what brain damage it oh, did yeah. to me. And there Why would do you be. Why think I can't think of names? I used to go to the Fun Zone over here. There would be like five hundred people just crammed in there trying yeah. to play games. And I, you know, I just remember spending now, unlimited time there. Now, if you had to go back and say the best console, like, games. I'm not talking modern era. I'm, not, I'm talking back then. Do you remember what, what the games were that you were like? If they had, like, for me, if they had a Popeye machine, that was it. Remember that Popeye game? Yes. Oh, my gosh. The Popeye the, game. The pick up the cans of spinach, that no, one. No, that the, game was amazing. It, that one, right? The, yeah. the cans of spinach one, yep. yeah. Where he would grow. Yeah. It was a donkey. Oh, it was, it was amazing. It was, a, it was Popeye being Donkey Kong is what it was. It was. It was. It was a rip off of Donkey Kong. But was Donkey Kong out oh, when yeah. Popeye was? Oh, yeah. 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 I just, man, Donkey Kong was early. Was Donkey Kong was... 82? 82. I love that Tempest. Remember Tempest? Tempest. How you had to go Tempest around the was, thing and it was like a... Uh, Tempest uh, was one of my favorite games that too. I would always go play. And there was also this game that it was very similar to Pong, but there were castles on four corners. That's, that's Warlords. Warlords. Warlords, and you could Warlords. catch... Right, Warlords you, was awesome at could, the arcade, but you could, it was awesome on you the You could catch... When guys would shoot stuff at you, you could catch it and then wing it at people. Yep. Oh, yeah. It was Walk. fantastic. Tron. Tron was amazing. But we 
Yep. Tron was amazing. Actually, I worked for a guy who was one of those guys. He, like, did it competitively at one point. He said for a whole, like, summer, he just got, like, addicted to Tron. And that was the game wow. he played. And he went around and he, he went around to tournaments. Wow. And he ended up winning. Uh, Aladdin's Castle had a big tournament. And he, he was, like, second place nationally. And it's great because he tells the story and he's, like, really proud. Like, I did this. <laughs> Which, first of all, he got a top score in Tron. Uh, but he's, like, really proud. And I, I found, like, what'd you win? He, like, this bag of tokens from Aladdin's Castle. How much did that come to? It was, like, $50 in tokens. Right. I'm like, you spent more than that in gas traveling around the country, man. But he won. So. But he won. He was so proud. He's a winner. Yeah. yeah those... I'm sure that that uh, Billy whatever, what's your, Teresa's friend Billy, Billy Mitchell, I'm sure he did better at it. Well, he did the, <laughs> yes, your, your guy. All right, you so. guys talk. i got to plug something in. What? What do you have to plug what in? So, see, you missed the, the whole that. The, there was that very sleazy arc, that element at the arcade, which was very alluring for you. Yeah, at the time. I, I never, I never had that. Yeah. I mean, you know, because you, you remember, like, you'd go to a, like go bowling or go to a place there'd be a couple of video games right. that may or may not not be there. Obviously, it was started before with all the pinball games, and then just transferred over to the electronic media. I, I still love playing pinball. A well kept a pinball game is fantastic. That's harder to find because there's a lot of expense in it. But you know, talk about like the, they'd have the pinball arcades and then they'd have the other game arcades and then it just transferred over. We're talking about like there was always kind of that seedy element about the arcades. There was always where the bad kids hung oh, out. Oh, yeah. And, but you know what? It was a lot of fun. And if you went and had a good time. In, in my basement, I have a 1940s era pinball machine that had no mechanics to it. It was one of those ones that. Oh yeah, up. yeah. The, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. You have that now? Yeah. Oh, cool. We got it from uh, my wife's grandma, actually, and her uncle took the the pinball machine that they had from the '60s that had that. So he's got that, but we'll probably eventually nice get that. We'll get that. I remember when I was in like fifth grade or sixth grade. So we're talking prime arcade era, right? I went over. I, I was invited to this guy Mike. Who knows what his last name is? His name was Mike. I remember that. Got invited to his birthday party. So his real name is Bill. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, yeah, I'll go. You know, free cake. You know, whatever. Cake video. Yeah. I get over there. His dad had worked for a cabinet company, so you go to his basement, and he had like ten full-on arcade games nice. down there, like crazy. He's like, you guys want to play for free, Mister? It was crazy. Yeah. And Rob was there last week. Oh yeah, I'd be over there <laughs> right now. There. I'm like, you're that Mike guy, right? You still got those games? I had a friend whose dad was in. Actually, I had well, two friends. I had a college roommate whose dad worked for Williams, so they had pinball machines. Oh yeah, it was fantastic. But I had a I had a friend whose father was in the arcade business. Yeah, and then he had Centipede, a, an original Donkey Kong. I mean, an original. Yeah, yeah, one, yeah. And we would go down and play all the time. I, Centipede was another one of my favorites. Centipede I don't know at why. the arcade, I loved it, with the ball. There's yeah. the whole the whole thing. That's why it I was, hated it on the Atari because it didn't have the track ball. Right. So it didn't or have he, the same or feel. Or even if you got the, the trackball a, attachment and the later it still wasn't, it as, wasn't good. as good. No. There was something about the feel and Okay, I got, I got a Chicago deep cut, speaking of video games, because you mentioned your friend worked for Williams or his dad. My yes. friend's dad was an accountant for Bally. Ooh, nice. Do you guys remember before Taste of Chicago, when they had Chicago, Chicago Fest? Fest? We used to go every year. Uh, go sit at the jazz stage. My dad is a jazz musician, so we'd go and watch all the free jazz and uh, get, you know, ribs and stuff, which was awesome. But they had they had an arcade set up, and we went with my friend one year, and his dad walked us through the arcade thing, and he's like, what games do you guys want to play? And he'd just walk up, open the cabinet, free it up, and we so we stood there playing games for hours at Chicago nice. Fest. And of course, getting like the stink eye from every other guy there. Like, how come they get it for free? It was awesome. Because I have the I key. I was like king of the I arcade. have the magic key to do yes. it. So. Yes. The, the one day you felt like a king. Oh, yeah. The rest of the time, <laughs> I, I was getting stuffed in lockers, you know, <laughs> beat up. They made them that big? I'm yeah. teasing. Last, oh, last, last week. week. Hello. Was that a fat joke? Yes. How dare you? Well, I, would, I was in the boat, buddy, but... <laughs> I, somebody tried that with me. It would be a different out. No, I don't say a different outcome. It'd be right. Can, can we get to the Nintendo? Yes, let's do it. I just wanted to talk. What's about this? That's all I want to talk about is the Nintendo. 
We you already did. did that. Finish that. Pay attention. 30, 30 hours later. We did. Teresa, you want to come up here? We're going to talk to Nintendo. Okay. <laughs> Teresa was a, uh, is, was a video game journalist. Was. Was. All right. Come on up here, Wait, Teresa. Wait, I didn't know this. Really? Yeah. That's pretty yeah, awesome. Some, uh, Back in it the cost, day. It costs money. It was actually back in the day. Back in the day. Back in. It actually was kind of a long time ago now. That's what happens when you get old. People Everything we're talking about was, was a long time ago. It was yesterday. No, that was 35 years ago. Yeah, we moved well, I know. It's just like I. So, yeah. So, yeah so, well, sorry, go ahead. Okay. Well, no, I'm just saying we're, t- you know, we're talking about the progression of these games, and we go from the Atari and all this stuff, and then all of a sudden. A little company out of Japan, not a little company out of Japan, releases Donkey Kong and launches Nintendo, correct? Right. Well, they, they were originally a card game company. Yeah, they, play, they made playing cards. They were for about 100 years. Oh, wow. They made just playing cards. And they, they got into the video game business. Uh, I forgot the guy's name now. Uh, I want to say Miyamoto was. Yeah. No, no, he didn't bring him in. Did he bring him in? Yeah, maybe he brought him in. Uh, maybe he, yeah. Yeah. And that's when they, they they had their first game, and I forgot the name of the game, but it was it was a failed a, a, arcade game. Then they got Donkey Kong, converted all those game uh, game machines. So if you see, if you see some old Donkey Kong machines, like it's not the original Donkey Kong machine. Right. It's got this big circular uh, screen and everything because they converted all these other ones because Donkey Kong started selling out and going going crazy. But, but you're right. I mean, then and th- then they started, you know, doing the home stuff with the Game & Watch. Right. I don't know if you guys have ever played the Game & Watch. Awesome little LCD games. The precursor to the Game Boy. Like, an amazing collectible. If you guys are out there looking for it, if you find it cheap, pick it up. Because it's probably like $200, Um And then we get the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1984. Thank you. I, it, it, to, me, it, to me, it's the greatest video game system ever created. Yeah. Ever. It still holds up for you. still holds up. Wow. I still play Super Mario Brothers. They had such a range of, of genres. Right, they, they had everything. Yeah, they had any type of adventure and role playing yeah. and sports and you know, it, all the shooting games and the arcade ports. And it, yeah, I mean, it just had such a deep library. That uh, they and I think that's and I think that's why the, the the system is so even today still kind of held at a standard. I know like the, the PlayStation Two is probably considered the greatest video game system ever made because of of what it did for technology yeah. and what they did for gaming from from like going from all this these steps and the PS Two. Okay. But but uh, but the Nintendo, you're right. I mean, it started everything. Anything you think of that you're playing today started on the Nintendo. And it was the Nintendo. It was the Nintendo that brought us characterization. Right. Sure. It's, it's the one that stories. Right. It brought the the genre into the modern age as far as that goes. Because before that, you were just moving pixels around on a screen. Right. But I wouldn't say that everything you play now is based on Nintendo. I would say that that console gaming generally is. Yeah. But a lot of the mobile phone gameplay, if you look at it, a based lot of it is that basic gameplay. Look at a game like like Fruit Ninja. That is not a Nintendo era game. So when you say that everything we're playing now is it's not. Well, uh, what's that one where you uh with the with the candy? Candy Crush. Right. And that would be more of a, a computer game. I mean right. really. Uh, that, right, but the, that but, would have its roots there. But, but, but Candy uh, Crush is, that, is a puzzle game. I mean, but that yeah. Yeah. It, that was Atari. At that was what that was. No. They did exactly. Tetris. Uh, yeah, but I yeah. would I would say that yeah, that Dr. style of yeah. gaming came out of Atari, whereas the modern console gaming generally comes out of the Nintendo era, where it's personality based, where it's story driven. Yeah, certainly the mascot. Yeah. I mean, am I wrong? Well, we might be quibbling over semantics too. All right, I was about to kick you off here if but, you said I was wrong. <laughs> You are clearly wrong. <laughs> well, I think the, the, I think it was Nintendo and then the Nintendo Game Boy that ushered in what we have today with our phones. I think you're right because the well, Game that's Boy. Absolutely, sure. We're all walking around with the Game Boy at this point. Yeah. Right. It, it, it's true, and it, it's the one reason why I think a, a company like Nintendo is, is kind of coming on hard times. I mean, as great as the new systems are, like the 3DS, yeah. 
and all that stuff now is, is a lot of people are like, well, why am I going to buy a $200 system when I have a phone and it's playing tons of games? Right. But it's not the now, do you it doesn't think, do the same. It's not the same, but again... Do you think that Nintendo is going to get into that market? I know they've talked about it. But they they already are. They already have. They already have the me. I don't mean. I don't mean new properties, but taking their properties from like the first NES and converting them to phones. They're going to have to. Yes. They're going to have to to stay competitive and to keep pulling in earnings every quarter. Because when they do that, we are down with that. They should go to a subscription model. Remember that when Sega had the subscription model? Mm-hmm. Do you remember this thing? Yes. Does anyone remember this? You could get it through your cable company and you could subscribe. It was like 10 bucks a month and you plugged what? it into you your Sega. Play. You plugged it into your Sega and it would come up and there'd be a library of like 30 games and it would change every month. And we had it and we played the hell out of this thing. Where else are you going to play the Deep Space Nine Sega Genesis game? On that. Right. That's where, and I played the heck out of that Deep Space Nine game. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I would never have bought I, I don't know why Fli- anybody Flicky? would. But... Remember Flicky, the one with the little bird? Yes. I played the heck of it on there. Yep. I, I remember that, but they have that. That's now. what Nintendo I mean, that's... needs to do, though, is do a subscription based thing just like Marvel U, but Nintendo U, you subscribe and then you can just play your games. You they're know, not they going to do that. They could no. They're not going to do that. They're going to sell that. them off one at a time. But they're going to wait. They're think gonna about try the, the NX. deep cut games you could get. Well, yeah, oh, sure. but they're going to try the NX, which is going to be the handheld plus the console, which is going to be married to each other. In my opinion, that's where it's going. Haven't they already done that with the Wii U? No. Oh, no. Kind they, of. No, and the next is the next is not not taking over for the Wii U. They're still continuing on with the Wii U. Well, the problem we'll with see. the Wii U is that they didn't really clarify what the gamepad was for, why you had this little itty-bitty tablet, and nobody really got the whole concept mm-hmm. behind it. And it was really bad marketing. I mean, it really was. And if they had marketed it properly, well, the wrong way, and weird. if the developers had really latched onto it, maybe it would have gone a little bit better. But eh, they just didn't quite make it. And... And you know that's there was some internal conflict there too. So well, and sure. that's been Nintendo. I mean, all, going all the way back to the NES, their problem with developers. Yeah. You know, because they put a mod chip in and all their in all their games, so they can, developers can only make a certain amount of games. They can only make the system would only work if they had this chip. So they would only give you X amount of chips to put in that Nintendo right, right. to make, and so that already started developers out on a bad foot. Right. And then yeah. you get Sega coming in and you're saying, hey, developers, do whatever you want. Right. We'll, we'll be here and we'll, we'll, we'll pay you whatever. We're going we're gonna to update everything. You know, they've yep. had that. I mean, the, the, you know, recently what's come out, which has been big rumor, was the, the, the original Nintendo PlayStation, which should, should have been mm-hmm. um, their merger with Sony. Mm-hmm. Right. And that fell apart because Nintendo then got greedy and they're like, right. well, hold on a second. Like it's but, a, and I think that's what we're seeing now is the, the repercussions of that yeah. greedy activity. Well, yeah. Yes, the they've done is, like a, they, they're like the Disney of video games, but they've got to evolve now. But, but they, they, they have their ups and downs with that because we thought the same thing when the GameCube came out and the GameCube failed. But the GameCube, I love it. GameCube yeah. is an underrated Me system. Me too. Yeah. Me right. too. People go it's find a GameCube if you have it. System. You can still get it cheap. And you can get the go games get GameCube. super cheap if you find them. Like Some. A, I saw a GameCube game yesterday for $100. And I was what? Like, what really? was it? See, uh, I got, I got chi- 10 online chibi, on eBay one time. Chibi Robo, thank you. Oh, that, that one would be expensive, I was though. That's like, a hard-to-find game. Is this? I know it's a hard-to-find game. I'm like, but I, I like, got, why does this person know this? I, right. like, I, got, <laughs> I got 10 for $8 in a bundle on eBay a couple years ago. And there were, some, there were a couple in there that were like, really yeah. good. Yeah, So, but, but everybody thought the same thing then. And then they, then they revolutionized something with the Wii and sell 100 million systems. Right. Yeah. But they they got to they got to have another they, they change evolution. It. So I don't know what what that next thing is. You know they'll have their ups and downs because even the Nintendo sixty four didn't do as well as it should have. But wouldn't they, it be they, a they better wanted. business model for them? I mean, yes, keep doing that, keep building into your 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 thing. Like like now they have their online play where you can get games through that. But wouldn't it be a better business model to take? I'm not saying everything. Take the NES games and make them available as phone games. A subscription would be a dream, but make but it so you can why, buy them. Why? Yeah. Well, not all of them. They're, they're not making all the, all the games for the NES on the phone. Exactly. 
Well, yeah, but you can find the ROMs. Pay for it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're loud. <laughs> Haven't you realized this? Hold on. And anybody knows Teresa, you know that you can't talk do. louder. <laughs> there we go. That but, that makes me talk even louder. <laughs> but what this do guy you is mean saying louder? is true. You can get an emulator and a ROM and put it on any Android phone, and you're good to go. Why are Why are we gonna pay for this when we have it for free? Gamers are cheap sometimes. If we get it, how for free, dare you? You can get I'm a Raspberry Pi right now you know. and get everything on it. I have Dude, that. you could totally do that. <laughs> 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 Raspberry <laughs> Pi, get 60 Please. bucks on Amazon. I would like a Raspberry Pi play date if somebody would like to come over and have a play date. <laughs> I mean the food. But especially for <laughs> mobile gaming. Raspberry, Raspberry. Yeah. Okay. But a lot yes. of people are not going to pay for mobile gaming. People on their, on their phones are right. cheap. Right. They don't want to put out that money, especially when it's available for free. So, yeah, even if Nintendo licenses it, there's yeah, a but, lot of people who are not going to do it. But I mean, for Nintendo, they're going to make money on that. They they're are. They're not making money on mods they're gonna make, But they're going to make 20 bucks again releasing it on the 3DS. And people, you know, they're going to sell it yes. on the So do I sell... So if you only make it available on the 3DS and they, they make their money on the unit and on the game, yeah, that makes sense, and that's, too. And that's what they do. And that, I think that's what's keeping Nintendo I'm much alive. better when we're talking sure. about movies and things. When I'm yeah. talking about this part of it, it's a, I'm well, not quite you as said good. That Nintendo, has left the building. <laughs> well, you said that Nintendo is like the Disney. How many times have we rebought Disney movies? We bought them on VHS. We bought them on DVD. We're buying them on Blu-ray. And now some people are buying them streaming. It's a same thing with Nintendo. We have rebought Super Mario 3 probably six different times. You know what? We talked about buying it again today because we were talking about that <laughs> that uh, that Mario bundle where you got one, two, three, yeah. and, the, the, yeah. and we're like, Ooh, Super look, Mario hey, All Stars. Mario All like, Stars yeah. for the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Loved it. It's, it's and only then they $40, put it out on but you get six games. They, yeah. they have it. They have it. Actually, we found oh, it for it was the fun. Wii. For twenty dollars, so I'm like, hmm, yeah. I don't know. We yeah, might they need come, to. They re release some of those. Yeah. Are yeah. they so? And I don't have. I don't have a new system. Do they just download that or do Atari twenty six hundred still? I, I, it's Stop either it. the, the, the Sears. I don't, I don't have a new system. LA, what, was it? what do we have? An, what do we have? An Xbox three hundred and sixty. What do we have? An X. What Xbox do we have? Three hundred and sixty. That's what I have and too. I, and it's it, it collects a lot of dust in my. You basement, know, some so. people would download it off a Nintendo eShop, either huh? on their handheld or on their console. But there's a lot of people who are going to pick up the disc, you know? Right. So I, I have it on a disc. Well, I have to because we don't have a Wii U. I have it on my Wii. I have it on uh, the Game Boy. You got it in cartridge, I'm game, sure. Yeah, the, I have like, <laughs> like Super Mario, especially 3. Right. Yeah. I had it probably six, like you said, six different versions of it. I own them all. And yet I can play it here. I'm going to get it there and play right. it there. I, I, I don't know why. I, and I have it well, on my. So, <laughs> once again, let, let there me, could be a play date in my future. So, let, let me throw this out here because we're talking about playing games on, on, on this. Yeah. Wasn't half of the fun playing with whatever god awful controller you had at the time? I mean, I remember playing Donkey Kong with that old Nintendo like controller. Trying to figure out how to work around it. How to work around yeah. it instead of just like, well, yeah, I could play Donkey Kong on this. It'd be really easy if I did it with my fingers. I thought half of the battle was figuring out the quirks of your controller and making it work. And if you went to a friend's house that had. A, a controller with a right. little different quirk, you would suck at that yeah. game because you're television. I couldn't play that thing at all. And that's where console fails, and PC can definitely shine further. But, but PC, like playing those games, it's not the same playing it with the mouse and the keyboard or it's as a not. controller. Yeah, see, and that's the thing, too. I get a lot of crap because when I PC game, I usually will use a controller because I'm more comfortable with that. I'm not right. sitting there wasding and bleh. But uh, but it's, it's why I don't play PC games. Yeah, like I just I don't I can't stand it. Yeah. Well, there's uh, di- there's uh, the different keyboard. games for it, or you got your, or they used to have that Microsoft controller before they got in the Xbox, and it was like like a like a spaceship. And right. I'm like this is this is terrible. Ridiculous. <laughs> Remember the, when they had the joystick, but the computer one was like this giant thing that looked like a joystick from a plane. Well, yeah. it was like, it was for flight simulator. And it had right. a key. You could use it, it, you was. Could use it for everything else. You had to like, you know, yeah. oh, it's ridiculous. Dude, I, I had one that literally had like forty <laughs> buttons on it. Did you? Oh no, I had I had a joystick for it was for a game that had. It literally so everything had like, yeah. everything everything, it, but it wasn't a flight Suction one. But it was, but it was. It ass. had to be suctioned down to play. <laughs> It was ridiculous. I mean, I think each finger had three buttons, and then I had like eight on the thumb. It, it was just awful. Man, you could kill a home invader. Oh with yeah, one of I those could. Things. They were nasty. <laughs> well, just 
just being so pissed off and throwing it at them. Just be like, this thing's... <laughs> Your rage quit. Yeah, oh, you yeah. did not rage quit with those because you take out a wall. Oh yeah, well, there was sections come to the table. You couldn't. Whole table goes up. Your <laughs> Apple II Plus goes flipping over. You know, you know. I knew this friend of a friend who had a crazy uh, girlfriend. Raspberry Pi threw Pie. her computer out the raspberry window. Raspberry Pi. What? I mean, you have to really be. Was it a Sinclair? Because that's not much of a loss. It was before the 386. That's a deep cut out. computer <laughs> joke, folks. <laughs> I, had a, I had a candy. From Radio Shack. Nice. You had a Tandy? I had an 80, TR-80. That I, was my I remember first Ghostbusters on the Tandy. It was the worst game I've ever played. <laughs> hey, worst. if you didn't download a game on a cassette, then don't even talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> this would be so the, the, the port would be a cassette. Wow. The, that would be what you would download the games. Did you type the whole game in from the computer? Pretty much. No, but I, had, I did have a card reader for one. I learned to program on cards. Yeah, I, I did bad. have uh, one of those Computer World magazines, and I did type <laughs> in the codes to, to do some of their little vector games. Wow. I remember that. I had an Apple II. An Apple II Plus. It had plus 64K. Ooh. Hey, no hey, way. Hey. 64. And I, right. I told this story before here. They, it they looked bought like me an the, Apple. It looked like the they Apple They bought tweet. me the 64K, and they, they had asked the guy at Farnsworth Computer, you know, is this going to be it for a while? Oh, yeah, man, nothing new's coming out. And they got the it, and like two months month later, later, after they got it for me, the Apple II E came out, and it yep. made the Apple II Plus obsolete. Yep. Why was it obsolete? They both had 64K. Does anyone know why it was obsolete? Tell us. The Apple II E had upper and lower case. Wow. That was it. <laughs> that was it. How old are you? Although I could play, I could play Zork. Yes. <laughs> Zork? What and, are we talking about and, here? Castle Wolfenstein. About oh, dude, that Castle Wolfenstein on Apple was, was fantastic. Yeah, especially if you could get to the end when Hitler showed up. Yes. Ironically, Hitler was still alive at that point. That's how old <laughs> it was. They're living in Brazil. That's what I heard. <laughs> uh, according oh to God. the amazing. Right. Yeah, we kind of switched decades here, didn't we? We did. We, 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 well, that's we 80s. Like, oh, that's All right. Total 80s. We're All right. 90s, 2000s. So you're, you're talking Nintendo. No, I'm no, I was, I was a huge Nintendo player. What would you say if you had to pick, oh, this is going to stink. If you had to pick your top three Nintendo games, Nintendo, regular Nintendo, NES, Teresa. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3. She goes right for it. Dang it. The original Zelda and... No. What? Really? Final Fantasy. Zelda 1. Hold on. 1 Zelda or one. 4? Zelda 1. Zelda 1. Zelda, Zelda 1. Zelda, Zelda 4. Super Mario Brothers 3. They only did two Zeldas. Zelda 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 right. Final Fantasy. You're right. Yeah. I, I'm I'm with you on Super Mario Brothers three. I think is the greatest game that system's ever put out. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. The original Legend you get a of Zelda. Raccoon tail in it. What's yeah. better than that? The original Legend of Zelda, and I have to go with the original Super Mario Brothers because okay. I can still play this today and love it. Like that, those games. Like I'm telling even my kids, you they're playing them and they're they're loving them. Yeah. I think those, you know, that, that's what Nintendo does. It's yeah. Mario. Okay, how about this? No Super Mario and no Zelda. Ah. Oh, All right, why, so why live? Know that. Why live? No Zelda, no Mario. <laughs> why, why live? Uh, <laughs> I'm going with Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Yes. Dude. Oh, yes. Yes. That's, that's the greatest. That's, that could be the best game. That that is Besides probably Mario the, Zelda. that is the best sports game that the Nintendo, the original Nintendo pulled out. I yeah. was just about to go yeah. with Contra because I think Contra, like everybody knows, up up, up, up down, 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 down left down, right down, left right. right. You know, what I mean, everybody knows. A A B B. Uh, what? And I'm going with Castlevania Two. Yes. Two. Castlevania Two. Yes. Side scrolling adventure, getting Incredible. dragged those bones and blood and. That game was amazing. You get different endings. That was the first time in video game history. Multiple endings, yeah. You got multiple yeah. endings depending on how quickly you beat the game. Castlevania 2, amazing. Mm. Do you want me to keep going? Yeah, if, if we got to take, take Zelda, because Zelda is yeah. Yeah. right yeah. there. If we got to take those out, I, I, hold on. I, the only one that I'm, I'm debating on is... I loved that Final Fantasy oh, yeah. game. Like, right. that was the game. Dude, you want to know a, a little secret? One of the reasons I started dating him is because I knew he had it and I wanted to borrow it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you, he's you still have, holding Final out. Fantasy you one. have Final Fantasy? 
Let's go no, out. You had it. <laughs> Boom, chuck a wow. Wait, you want to borrow this game? You may have <laughs> not <laughs> had it after we stopped going out There's the first children. time. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. You, you, want, to to Papa. Yeah. you want to know another secret? <laughs> That's why we became friends. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> All right, Chris. Well, yeah. What? What? I, I, I did not own a Nintendo Arkanoid? system. Arkanoid? Woo! I... Yeah. Oh, Arcanoid. Arcanoid was there. That's a good game. I, I didn't. I just played. I didn't have. I didn't have a Nintendo. I'm gonna be honest with you. I no, played other. Sears didn't have a knockoff. They did not. Dude. Because, because of the but, Nintendo but, but, but by the time Nintendo came out as being an older person, like when it by the time it came out and kind of caught, I right. was in college. So, right. I, I made the next jump to beer pong. Well, no, Sega Genesis and then Dreamcast came. I mean that. Oh. Did, so so like I was a big Shinobi fan. Oh um, yeah, and Shinobi nice. was fantastic. Shinobi. Shinobi was a great Yikes. game, but but much like Contra, it was that same kind of thing. It was just the next gen. So, right, so just, we're, we're gonna ignore the Master System. So Let's you just, just ignore totally that. No wait, I had a Master Genesis System. Games. I had a Master System, and I do have to say it was the games were all right, but it was really hard to control. Bonk. Anybody right. play the Master System? Bonk, Bonk was great. Yeah. They were clunky. The the controller were, was, it was clunky. Tough. Alex Kidd in Fantasyland. Which one? Alex Kidd in Fantasyland. I just said Alex Keaton in Fantasyland. I'm like, what game is that? Is that Pete Keaton in Is that another Scars Guard? I would have played that. The Family <laughs> Ties video game? Oh, what a great game. Uh, <laughs> but then they made the jump to the it's Genesis. It's a Republican. It's yeah, and the, the Genesis. Okay, so Martha brought up today, when we got these, we were dating when she bought me the Nintendo, and then as a wedding present, I bought her the Genesis. Nice. And we played the hell out of those yeah. systems. Wow. <laughs> nerd uh, love. Oh, nerd. At its best. Sega. Oh, my God. Well, nerd. Nerd. Yeah, yeah, honey, my for a wedding, instead, instead of buy you jewelry, here's hold on the it, Sega hold on Genesis. A second. Here's the gold hold edition here's Zelda. Here's something that right. I can play. Here's the, third, <laughs> here's the gold I edition think... Zelda 3, honey. Yeah, I'm cheap. I gave her a mood ring as an engagement ring. Ladies, I got this out of the 25 I'm cent machine. Will you no, 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 no. I went I to Bazaar Bazaar. I paid a dollar for that. Wow, big spender, man. <laughs> nice. But yeah, so, right, so, so the Genesis. Genesis. Now, are you talking with the Game Genie or without? Without no, me. without. <laughs> we are not game genieing anything up here. Okay. Hold on, Hackmaster. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not cheating on the game. I'm gonna be cheating the company. Right. <laughs> so I'll steal the game, but I'm playing it originally. So we all had Genesis, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I still have. All right. Everybody somewhere. had Genesis. Yeah. yeah. All right. My dad did not. Um, so Genesis. Genesis. Came He's out. thinking of the band. Were you? A, you know, Genesis had a lot of great ones. You know what game I played the heck out of? I'm not going to say it was the best game on there. RoboCop versus Terminator. Okay. That was a good game. I good loved game. that game. I did as well. Yeah, that was a good one. And it had an awesome box. It looked like steel, and it was cool. That's also where I played Flicky. Flicky's the one with the bird. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for the Sega Genesis. I never played that. Was that good? How was old amazing. are you? How old are you? Like three? Oh, my God. Was that God. good? I loved no, it. No, it was good. It was... I remember I'm that. Just saying that. Too. I don't remember that one. It's really fun. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I played on the Genesis. I liked, uh, okay, everybody liked Sonic. Yeah, of course. But you couldn't get any more than like three levels, then you die. Right. Uh, but uh, Sonic Spinball. Talk about yourself. You guys here. remember Sonic Spinball? Sonic that was Spinball. Really good too. I love that game. I'd play that right now. I'm going to go all home. The, all the Sonic games. You know what? Another Nintendo game I forgot to talk about? I'm going back. Mega Man 2. Oh, dude, yeah. Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know what? Turtles. The Turtles arcade no. game, I think, was better was. Yeah. than the, but, than the but original it Turtles. It was. Wait, wait, the Turtles and Battletoads was even better. Oh, was great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I just thought of Mega Man, but... And it was impossible. It, it was. It was so great. All right, so back I, to the Genesis. I had a, a game called Ski or Die. So I had a, a friend... Oh. It's skate or Die. That's no. Ski or Die. Hold on a little. I had a friend... All right. What no, isn't that ever a song? You can't, skater, yeah, skater I had a friend that worked for this company. It was yeah. like Activision or one of these companies. So she brought me prototype games. I have prototype games. I have. They had a Lone Ranger game that never came out that was so fun. That was a great game. You have game. no idea. 
and they gave me that, and she gave me Ski or Die. And the best part of Ski or Die, Zombie you know how on definitely. Skate or Die it has the guy like, hey, dude, we're going to skate now. And it was just like a picture of him. For Ski or Die, they licensed Rodney Dangerfield. Yes. Yes, it was Electronic Arts. They had Rodney Dangerfield. So they had this like picture of Rodney Dangerfield in a ski cab. And you're like, hey. It's in the game. Hey, we're, we're going to ski now. Hey. It was awesome. All right, back to That's Genesis. All right, yeah, let's, let's, uh, 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 let's do our top three Genesis games. Shall I talk about Nolan Bushnell again? He follows me on Twitter. Top. Wow. Nolan Bushnell follows I know. me on it's Twitter. It's making me crazy. Very nice. Peter Baggy follows me on Facebook, so take that. You, you should be more than just that, but no. Just... All right, top three Genesis games. Top Double three. Dragon. For the Genesis? I can't remember. They have Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2. I, I, wow. I, I would say, I would say from the... I'm going to say co- Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Mortal yes. Kombat. What, what was the point? But, no, I would, think, I would think Sonic would be number one yeah. for the Genesis. Yeah. Let's, let's, the Genesis. Do the, let's do the same thing and throw Aww. Sonic out. Because Talk everybody's going to have Sonic. Sonic. Yeah, we're throw the Sonic happen. games out. Okay. All right. Gone. Now what? I'm going to tell you, I played Golden Axe to no end. Golden, Golden, Golden Axe was great. Golden Axe was fantastic. I, yeah. I, I played that you know forever. Yeah, a, bad, a bad game that I played until like my fingers were raw was, was Altered Beast. Oh, yeah. Alder oh, Beast? Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Uh, like, uh, oh, yes. so, yep. Didn't they try to relaunch that, like, recently? And it was terrible? Probably. Yeah, it was terrible. I and loved it on that, though. It I was know, bad. I know, I know you hate sports, but NHL 94. No, I can, I can top that. The best sports game on there? NHL 94. No. Oh, my God. What I don't you hate sports. Wayne Gretzky in the face and he bleeds everywhere? I don't hate oh sports. God. I played the heck out of it on there. I played that game. I loved it. But I can, I can top it. The best sports game on there, hands down, Mutant League football. Yeah. That was very good. That's not sports, though. Shut <laughs> up. It's football <laughs> and monsters. It's not real no, football. It's a great game, but it's, a, it's not. And, and your friend... Yeah. Yes, Rebecca Rothschild. Didn't she write for the new version of Mutant League Football? Very nice. Yes. I know. Well, I re- we're getting more into my modern what's era. You what's your name? Remembering your wife's things. birthday until you see it on Facebook pop up, but you remember that. <laughs> wait, wait. I, know, I, know. Got, I was wait, a birthday he's got champion Molly. this year. Ma, Daddy, it's mommy's birthday in two days. Daddy, it's mommy's birthday tomorrow. He wakes up first thing in the morning. Whose birthday is it? Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, and this is what it sounded like. Uh, no, no. Okay, got to wish Charles. Oh, wait. Molly, go make some cards. It's not Charlie's. It's a... <laughs> Sign one right, from well, Daddy. What do you got, Teresa? Okay, games. wait. We forgot something really important. No. Metroid. How the heck? Metroid. <laughs> you know what, though? But, you know, you're going top wait. three. I love Metroid. I really do. But I don't think it would be my top five. I didn't play Metroid or Mega Man back then. I, I love. I mean, and, and you, you know what my problem was with Metroid? Metroid was so hard. Like you talk about, you talk about it Sonic is. in three yeah. levels. Metroid man was just because so hard. we got the, that Metroid one for uh, for the was it the U or was it? Uh, yeah, it comes with Metroid Prime and then. Not, not we don't have the U. Uh, I think it was a GameCube. Yeah. yeah. Holy cow! Is that hard? No, but Metroid's a terrific character. I mean, Samus. Yeah. yeah. It's a, well, the it, Metroid it, it Prime I think I, was, was five amazing. Years later but that's a different era. Nah. <laughs> right. On, yes. on the Sega Genesis. On the first place, if you I love errors in video games. So great. Yeah, and I, I mean, it, I, you know I'm not a sports guy, but on video games, I do like them. I'm just not going to buy them every year. That's stupid. I buy, like, right. a baseball game once a system. Madden was a great game. In every generation, I mean, it was it was yeah, a good was one great. that you could buy just because of the updated stuff with the players of that year. But yep. that's always good. But then the, Mutant League came out, and that's it. And, and the hockey games were pretty good up until about two thousand, and then in two thousand they got a little when when the controllers got know, to, man, well, like, no, when the controllers got too much when you could do five million things, you just end up doing nothing. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, hockey. Some of the fine. best sports games today. Which is crazy to say, are the FIFA games? Oh yeah, no, those are unbelievable. FIFA games are insane. Like, so Mario Striker, even better. <laughs> I love, I love it. I know. I love everything with Mario. Mario's my guy. But we got to take Mario off the table. So I didn't hear what the other Sega games were. That's right. Let's go. Uh, whichever Castlevania we had, we had two, didn't we? On on the Genesis. Uh, Genesis, I think was it was it? Castlevania 
Four. four. There were a four. There are four. so many. Wow. Because it was Castlevania one and two wow. and three. Castlevania doesn't suck until Castlevania sixty four. Yeah, that was good too. Oh, was but tough. was Vector Man better than Clue? Yeah, Vector Man was better than Clue. Um, and then of course, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I already. That's said a great. That's yeah. a good. Yeah, I think Battletoads, just because of the far reach of that Battle game. Battletoads Battle- was great. Here, man. we're going to put out this game, and then we're going to link that game with every other concept we have. Battletoads was so hard, and I just loved it. Well, and you brought it up already, Shinobi, for the same right. Genesis. Oh, my god! I gosh. mean, he fights Batman and Spider-Man in that game. Yeah. They are villains. That's I That's the it. best. I think I freaked out. I was like, oh, my God, Spider-Man. i got to kill Spider-Man. For for a real generic scrolling game, would you ba- bail the game every time just so Spider Man wouldn't lose? No. <laughs> hey, I, like Nintendo games keep popping in my head because like Ninja Gaiden was another great game. Oh my game. gosh! Yeah, we played, yeah, we played the heck out you of just that. Just talk game. about Nintendo. That's yeah. all I can talk about. I can't remember what Kung Sega Fu, game. I, I have that still. Yeah, I, I do remember like. But for a fighting game, it wasn't. Tyson was great. That Tyson game was just. Mike Tyson's punch out. Yeah, Mike Tyson's punch out was the greatest. Did you know? Did you guys see recently? Like another clue, another like Easter egg came out, or not Easter egg, but one of the clues as to when to fight them. The tells, yeah. You know how the they, yeah the tells. Uh, another one just came out. It's been like thirty years, forty years, and they just came People out with still another play one. It. Yeah, I, know. Like, I don't. I don't respect anyone who has a punch out game that doesn't say Mike Tyson on it. Like, like was they remade it like with just punch out? Like, just no. No, you got to have the punch out. Does it count? I don't know what this is. What about Buster Douglas on uh, the uh, Genesis? Genesis? Do you remember that one? I do. It was terrible. I had it. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. I think I think it came out and he lost like the next day, and it was like, well, this game, it's Oops. worthless. We backed no. the, we backed the wrong guy. Yeah, right. So who had a, a what about what about Super Nintendo? Oh. A little. You're in the <laughs> era where up until the last. Gener- this current generation, I had every console. So yeah. Super Nintendo, yeah. And in fact, in fact, I'm going to lay this down. Until PlayStation, Super Nintendo, best system. And I'll tell you why. The 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 depth of games. Yeah. I I th- there were so many I couldn't keep track, and I loved them. I loved playing all those games. Well, I, I, I think the Even second stupid ones. The second best game ever outside of me to me, Super Mario Bros. Three is the best game I've ever played. Sure, was Super Mario World. Oh my oh, god, I good. think yeah. it was so good. I think when you get the you get the flying, and then you also get to ride Yoshi. Yeah. Like I remember no, getting. I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to give you one. Super Star Wars, bam! All oh, three of them. that was awesome too. What? Retro. That's all that matters. They tinder. Okay, so we're not going error by error. We're going to jump. Boom. Are we going? Wait, do you want? Do you want to know best games? You're making me not talk about Nintendo. Okay, we'll talk okay, Super no, Nintendo. Talk, okay. And then let's I'm gonna talk go, modern I'm gonna go era. To Nintendo, because Nintendo's got like, Nintendo. I think has two of them. Which people play because you can play the online capability. Yeah. I know my kids play. I know adults that play it. Two games, Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo, uh, the Wii U, I think is a phenomenal. It's a great game, and I also think Mario Kart. Mario yeah. Kart, Mario, Mario Kart, Kart's and great. That's a Super Nintendo game. So you want to talk modern? We're just talking modern oh, now. Sp- Splatoon is a terrific game. Yes, yeah, Splat Two. Super oh, wow. Mario Maker. Yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. Great. So I love when I see those on that get posted. So I still have the Yoshi game in the shrink wrap because all we've been doing since Christmas has been playing Mario Maker. I know, but we just want, like every time we're like, it's, we're, let's play the Wii U. It's like, oh, I want to play Mario Maker. Yeah, right? I understand because we we don't have a Wii U, but they had a setup at Woodfield where you could go and you could play it, and it was supposed to be like a two minute thing, and we were there for like three hours playing. Playing Splatoon, playing Mario Maker, it's just the best. Uh, I, I wanted to say when Super Smash Brothers, uh, I just I just came up here and you let me. Who is this? Wait a second. I, no, go ahead. Uh, what were you going to say? Uh, I wanted to say one that's really good, Super Smash Brothers and all the Lego ones. Look out there. The oh, Lego ones are great. They are playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got, yeah, I got, I got. Do they have a Lego Lego game? They have a Lego Lego. Molly loves the Lego Harry Potter games. We can play with Legos. 
on the screen. What are these things? They're, they're Legos. What? He's at the yeah. Lego Dimensions now, too, where yeah. the Lego characters are yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. Animal Crossing on the Nintendo GameCube was just mind-blowing. Like, you get the you get the e-reader, and you start getting all this stuff. Like, I remember having packs of... Why? I'm, at this point... I'm, I never played it. I never played it. I didn't either, but I want to play it. Okay. I know. And here's the so, best part, like, because me and my wife used to play it all the time. And then, like, we would, like... We would like we wouldn't play for a few weeks, and we would we would be afraid to turn our Nintendo on to play. We're like, oh my god! Like I, the, the whole place is probably on fire. You know, like just, <laughs> the animals are running around. Like you know, if you were waiting for someone to come over and visit, or you were waiting for something to happen in the game because it's real time, the e cards you would get um, like uh, excite bike, and you would have this console in your little house in the game. You could go and play excite bike. You could play punch out. I, yeah, you could play all the Nintendo games. They had, like, they had them on a card where you scanned it, where your animal can like get a Nintendo. Yeah. You get these cards like in these random packs, and all of a sudden, wait, you're playing that wait, game wait, 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 are they are they physical cards or it's something in game where you? <laughs> it's a card. It's a physical card that you collect. But then once it's in, like scanning a QR code, basically. But how do you scan it into this? You buy a, there's an e-reader thing that you buy. You plug into one of the controller ports. Oh, okay. All right. It was insane. That's very complicated. So it's a video game about <laughs> getting That's a video right. game? It was a video game within a video game within a video game. Which, is, it, which was one of the things I loved on Final Fantasy VII when you went up into the sky, the, uh, the, bl- the blimp, and they had the arcade up there. That was, it's an airship. An airship. But they had the arcade up there. That was awesome. Get it right, Rob. Yeah, Rob. <laughs> Sorry. Back in my day, we called it a Zeppelin. Uh, and the what? last one. How old so, are you? So... <laughs> oh, the humanity! Right. It, it's funny because the games, like you're talking about modern games and the greatest things. I actually, when we get in the modern games, I I have switched so much. For me, it's all about the open world. Yeah. Red uh-huh. Dead Redemption might be the greatest thing I've ever played. It's it's so good it makes me want to get the PS4 when Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out. Right. Well, wait. I love the those. PS4K will be coming out soon. I know. I know. Trust me, I'm on that. Uh, but I'm telling you, those open world games, and it's like, I know that it started with uh, Grand Theft Auto. Like, everyone was big into Grand Theft Auto. Those were fun, but I'm going to sound like such an old man. I enjoy, in Red Dead Redemption, getting on the horse and riding around for hours. <laughs> like, it's so stupid. <laughs> I know. I, I told this story before when I was in college, and, and I'm like, my brain is like, and you got on the this. horse to get from so, your dorm. To no, the no, to get to get. No, I got on a Zeppelin. The, the tumbleweed no, to get, is awful. To get well, to like relax. You went to the saloon to relax rather than got playing shot. like a Call of Duty or something or a puzzle game where I'm like, ah. I would play Red Dead Redemption, and I'll I'll never forget this. The one night I had been writing papers, I was like, I just got to escape. I got on the train on Red Dead Redemption. There's a train that goes from town to town, and you could just stay on it. And I just sat there, and characters walked by, howdy. And I'm sitting there like, howdy. It was the greatest thing. It was like two hours of that. You, you married him, right? That's what and I did. And he bought you a Genesis. So it was <laughs> awesome. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this video game, but I'm going to sit in the video game. I did. Well, level you had one. I've been riding on this I train. I want to be an action guy in the video game. I want to be the guy who sits in the video game. Right. I'm going to be the background guy with no pants on. That's me. Huh? Yeah. Just driving the bus. Do you pick up passengers? But at least you're driving the bus. He's sitting in the train. I would be a passenger. He's not doing anything. It's very relaxing. He's watching a screen go by. He's like, hey, I'm, I'm playing this video game. It, I look for a button where it says, turn that music down. Wait, you are, you are going to have very low oh my system God. requirements for VR. <laughs> right. <laughs> But no, I, I love I love games Man, that are open cloud. world. Like for me, the, the the greatest games of the modern era. Like I said, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I love uh, Bioshock, yeah. and Bioshock Infinite is mm-hmm. owning me right now. I uh, I love Fallout. Yeah. I yeah, could do that. That's great. All day, every day. 
don't have the system that does four. I know. Shut up. You're terrible, Rob. I don't have it. You know why? Because I don't, I don't, I like games, but like I hate that to play online that everybody kills me because no, I don't play them online. Play forever, you know what? And get super good, and I can't play that when long. I, when I, I got the 360, I was playing online a lot. I, I was playing Halo and Call of Duty, and it, I was loving it. It was a blast. And then the teenagers, let's point some out, showed up. You young folk. And, and it went from, like, you could play and have fun, and you're like, play and capture the flag, and you're killing people, and to it starts, and you go, hey, I'm bam. Yeah. And then right. some 14-year-old goes, F blank blank, and you're like, whoa! <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, was, I was playing yes. Left 4 Dead one night, and I'm playing with this, this, like, two other people, and this one guy, and all of a sudden I hear him, he started, and he sounded like he was an adult, starts swearing his head off because he got shot or something. And I'm like, whoa, dude. And then it, I hear him go, Mom! <laughs> meatloaf! Mom, <laughs> meatloaf! He's like, Mom, take the baby! Mom, He's interrupting my game. Pockets. And I'm like, wait a minute. This guy has a baby? Is he an adult? Is he a kid? <laughs> what is going on? And he's he could, swearing at me over Left 4 Dead. He was on that MTV <laughs> show, 16 and Pregnant. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> but it's a dude. <laughs> well, he could be living with his mom be, yes. and his girl. And... True. Is it Kifa? I don't, I don't know. I don't watch the show. Teen, I just... teen mom joke for you. That's awful. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's what I dig is that. But I do like these. I, I, I like, like puzzle games and all that. And I used to play a lot. Now when I don't have time to play, if I have time to play, I'll play, like, I, I'll play Last of Us. Right. To me, there's nothing better. It's it's I I just love that kind of game where I can solve stuff I can really get into the world there's story there's a lot of that whereas I used to be all about like Mario and all that stuff although that being said I just played the heck out of Little Big Planet again yeah. that's, that's good that's Mario but with like crazy graphics and well, it's well, fun. With, the, with the increase of these games and their complexity <laughs> I, I think can it's... I just take a shot what was that. Yes. <laughs> that that's what he told you. To, that's what he tells you to take Nyquil. He's yeah. like, here, take this Nyquil, so I can play. <laughs> take this. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Dang it! That, See why it's no fun. Well, I I think these games now they're so immersive. They they they're such a time sink. It's not like you can pick yeah. them up and play. Skyrim. Yeah, Skyrim. Like I mean, I, I I will tell you that I did. I did the whole EverQuest and I did the whole Warcraft thing and not. I mean, they're See, not their console games. Those would eat my life. They, so. they did. They it just ate it. it well, just you horrendous. you don't care. Your life gets eaten regularly. But for me, like I, oh, I, it was I stayed away. I don't have the time for. I mean, like I don't either. I don't have the time to watch TV, wanna, sink, exactly, let alone do yeah, a game. So. Uh, you know, but like I miss those games because like I I remember like loving like, Resident Evil. Like right. those oh my gosh, games, so, and Resident and, Evil Four on the GameCube. Holy so good. smoke! All right. I have a new subject. Anyone got a stack of shame? You know I do. And what would you say is in that stack of shame that you have not touched yet? I don't, I don't think I can talk about it here. No. <laughs> Anyone else with a stack this of shame? Is, this is a, there's kids here. No. Yeah, okay, not that stack of shame. <laughs> Who can talk about Leisure Suit Larry? You have a cabinet? Oh, God. <laughs> that was the greatest game, too. Oh, I've got that one too. Yep. I know, and it's supposed to be so, so good. Oh, Everyone it's says it's good. And then Harvest Moon games. Harvest Moon, I've got, like, I've got that. I haven't stock. put it on because I have that on the Wii. On the Wii. Right now, Fantasy Life is sitting in my stack of shame. A little stack of shame. I, I don't have one. I really don't. No. You buy them, you play them. I buy and I play. I don't. I don't. But I haven't bought any. I, I'm, I'm on this new retro gaming kick. I'm going back. Like, my wife hates me right now because I've had every system. I thought I saw her at that club meeting. <laughs> we what are you talking about, Martha? I, I've, I've owned, I've owned every husband. system since, you know, since the Nintendo. Yeah. Like, every system from the Nintendo to the, to the PS3. Why are you starting at the Nintendo? Why aren't you going to Atari, go to 5200? Because do... I want to play games that I really, really enjoy. Okay. And... You know, I rem I have fond memories of the Atari, but when I when I when I play them again, 
Like I'm like I'm not gonna. Yeah, I know. I, I, I know. You can't play. Them I collected again. all those games, and then I'm like, wow. Other than combat, they were rough. Right. Rough. And even, and, and even some of the Nintendo. So like, I'm not going. I'm going to the. I'm going to go to the Nintendo. Yeah. But I'm actually going to go back to GameCube, Super Nintendo, right. Nintendo 64, Genesis, Turbo Graphics, and I also want to get some of the. 3DO? The, the, the Jaguar, all those things. Jaguar, kind of. oh. But the thing is, is those things, like, all of a sudden, like, I'm, I'm walking around. Virtual the, boy. The earth, and, like, I'm like, why is this stuff so expensive again? Like, I remember, because collectors. Right. It's that, become a thing. Yeah. Again, and, like, and actually, when I, I was Atari collecting, Atari the collectors were not happening. I'm like, this was $200 when it came out. When I started collecting, the collecting wasn't happening. So it was really easy. That's why I said I was able to get you know ten games for eight bucks and yeah, no. things like that. And right. now it's it's gotten ridiculous. But uh, I'm even going in and looking at like Wii games that like I got rid of, and then like I want to bring like Punch Out. Like, yeah, I love Punch and, Out, and they're expensive. Wii, right. and, and like all of a sudden, like and like I said, there was that GameCube, the Chibi Robot or Chibi Robo, and I'm like, yeah. See, I'm like, what is listen, going on? Yeah, I'm right. Right. <laughs> right, right. Chris, stack of shame? I don't because I don't have time. And so, I mean. I so, mean, when you get one, you play it. We play it. And if we play it, but I mean, we have, uh, you know, like eight uh, band ones for, you know. Oh, like Rock Band? Rock Band. band. Yeah. We sit there that we haven't you know played what? in a long time. The Beatles Rock Band is oh, on my stack of shame. Really and good. I'll tell you why. I never got the guitar. Uh -huh. And trying to find a guitar for that, I, I think I have it for the. 360 uh -huh. and uh -huh. finding a 360 guitar I, I used, wish, I, I can't you find. I told me because I just sold it for like uh. five bucks. <laughs> because Molly and I and Martha, we love. I got the rid Beatles. of my drum kit and everything. I, I had like, never played rock band, my cat loves or garage ours. band, or any of that stuff. And we went and stayed with some friends in Minneapolis, and their daughter had it. And for three days, that's all I did. It was awesome. It was so much you fun. Know, rock band's fun. I, I I enjoy it, but I think like. After a certain amount of time, it's just like I don't I don't want to go back to it. Yeah, like, my, it right. won't have the shelf life for me. But the, like the Beatles one, I want to play through it and then I'm done. Well, that's I mean, the only one. Really. It has nothing to do with playing. It's just kind of fun to hit some keys and right. sing the songs or do right. whatever. So. Right. Right, sure. right. <laughs> I was I was actually talking to somebody the other day that because I have a Steam account because I was shamed into it by podcasters. Like, how do you have this network? You don't have a Steam account. You got to have one. I'll I'll send you games. I I have zero games. Nobody ever sent me one. I don't know how it works. I, w I went in there. I looked. So at you it. really don't have an account. I, I have an account. I've never. There's nothing there. Done anything with it? And every time I go in, I'll look at the bundles. and I'm like, oh, that looks great. I'm not going to play games sitting at my computer. I'm I'm too busy at my computer. I'm too busy at my computer. You know, when I play, I although then like if Zork was on there, old man Zork, I'd sit down to like sweet text games. Where am I going to find that? Dude, uh, what? Yeah, All see. right. Yeah. Um, All right. You're going you're gonna to teach me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Teach us your wisdom. Yeah. Wow. And the and wisdom you know of Steve. Now, did you guys ever play those text-based games? <laughs> did you ever play? Because I talk about Zork a lot. Play did what? you guys ever play text-based games? No. No. Anybody out here play those? Text-based games. Shut up. There's a, I didn't play that one. You I gotta go. That? Get out of here. Oh, okay, I did play one. Drop the mic. On the phone. That was it. There's one on the phone? Oh, there's some on the phone. Yeah. Shut up. You know, the only game I played on the computer oh. ever was Oregon Trail. That's it. You have died of dysentery. I like consoles. I like I like the big screen. You know, I have a 70 inch TV. I want to play my game on that. I don't know if I don't know if Zork would be as effective. <laughs> a 70 inch. The is this big. You <laughs> approach. <laughs> The farmhouse. I do that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mine's, mine's got my, my butt groove really nicely <laughs> well in. <laughs> you know when the kids are sitting there? Oh, I know when somebody's sitting in my chair and my butt groove is not correct. 
that I am uncomfortable for at least the first half hour of that movie. The nice thing is three of his kids can sit in the butt groove. So True. <laughs> All three of my kids. The twins on one... The and twins they, in one cheek and my other one in the other. Do they get little mini butt grooves in your big oh, butt groove? Yeah. It's terrible because then they get then you feel it in the thighs. It's terrible. You feel that little tiny groove. Were you kids watching? <laughs> That's so bad. I love Homer. So my my stack of shame actually greatly reduced because we because what, of the company you've lowered your have, standards or you've done no we haven't been making money so we we had to start selling stuff off so I've sold off systems I've sold off games I I still have. It became games like you're talking about how the older stuff got really expensive. I started doing really well. I take yeah. them in and like, yeah. like holy cow, these stupid 32x games sold for a lot. Wait, you had a Sega 32x? Yes. Why? And it sold because. Uh, yeah, and I sold them for nothing. <laughs> but because that paid for then, groceries that week. Everything from the 360 on, and it, it, yeah. they wouldn't sell. And, and they were like, they were like, okay, well, I'll give them for, you know, I'll give you a quarter. And I'm going, for Bioshock? Yeah. It, that's all they'd give you. Yeah. So I still have a lot of, like, 360 and right. Xbox and all the, the, that. The newer, the newer games, from, from even PS2 on, yeah. like, they didn't really resell well. Right. But you get, like, Dreamcast, like Dreamcast games. I sold the entirety oh, of my Dreamcast, some. and I had a heck of a collection, too. Yeah. I sold off all of it. Boy, boy, I loved that Dreamcast back then, man. That was good stuff. I can't believe that one, like, up and died so quickly. Did anyone else have a Dreamcast? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, typing of the, the dead. The typing of the dead. And remember it had the little thing you could click in, the little keychain that you could click in? And then you played out. Uh, well, we talked about it here before. Seaman. Seaman. Yeah. I hated that game. I so I know you did, but I got Seaman. Seaman was a game that was one of these like it was like a togimachi or whatever you call it, where you had a, a fish and you feed it, and eventually it gets a human face and it interacts wow. with you. And and I I did it for one day and I got it swimming around and it came up and then the next time I turned it on was like a week later and it was dead. And I said this game sucks and that was it. That was it. And it came with a microphone and everything, but it had this little thing that plugged into your, into your controller and it had like a, a, a screen. Yeah. So you could take that fish guy with you. Yeah, I didn't. I let him die. You let him die. Yeah, I don't care. Died now he's so dead nice. man. <laughs> is that what he died of? <laughs> yeah, algae is. Yeah, he suffocated. Yeah, that's what I said at Togiachi or whatever. Oh, you butchered it so Tamagotchi. Like, Tamagotchi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was uh, that that I remember that stuff with the with the Genesis. I love that Genesis yeah, though, man. There, there were some really great, you know, Dreamcast games. I, oh, it was what what was that? The, was it Radio? Bushido Blade? No, that was oh my god, PlayStation Bushido Blade was awesome. Yeah. Remember that game? That was a game, a samurai game. You know, it's it's a fighting game, right? You think, oh, you know, we're gonna fight with swords? No, it's samurai. One hit. So the whole game is you going, uh, uh, uh oh, uh, uh. Slice. If you miss, you're dead. That was the whole game. And it seems stupid. It would, like, you'd be sweating. You're like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. It was so good. Everyone I know that played it is like, that was the best game. It was just stupid. <laughs> like, you're just trying not to get killed and then make the right move. But, no, what was the one with the swords? They've, re they've, they've put it out. It's now a big franchise. But it came out on the Dreamcast first. Yeah, Soul, Soul Calibur. Calibur. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I played the heck of, and Ready to Rumble. Remember when that one came out? And then Michael Jackson appeared in the remix. Yeah, there's a Michael Jackson character if you go far enough in. Shenmue, that was great. Shenmue, Shenmue yeah, was, that was. Shenmue was really good. Yeah, Dreamcast was was hotness. Really? I have that sitting in my garage right now. Big box. It's like in a big box. We had the big box. That is one of the few games that I regret selling. Yeah, we had books. Yeah. You want, you want groceries. You want it? <laughs> <laughs> we may talk. Yeah, no, it, it, it was great. The, those two games were remakes of the Saturn RPGs, which the Saturn was... I had the Saturn, too. Phenomenal yeah. RPG. I had the Saturn, too. The controller was terrible, but, man, I loved it. Yeah. 
You can sell that too for a couple hundred bucks now. Not anymore. I don't have it anymore. Well, I sold off all this stuff. I told you, man. Yeah, we sold off the Sega CD game. I had Sega CD also. Yeah. What? I didn't CD get game. Jack for mine. I really liked it. It was KO Flying Squadron. It was uh, oh, I didn't have a that. side-scrolling shooter of little anime bunny girls uh, riding on... You know, I like everything you just said. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was I, a really cool game. Uh, Sonic CD I've heard of that really game. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I liked the uh, Sonic CD. I thought that was a really good game. Yeah. Really solid. There was nothing I can say solid on the 32X, but except for Star Wars and Doom 32X. Yeah. Doom made me sick, though. The, the motion, I was yeah. that guy. The bobbing. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. I had a friend that was addicted to it, and he was like, it's the greatest game ever, and then like, I was ready to throw up when I'd play it. So, did we hit all of the modern era games, like what you would say would be... Not in the past five years, mostly. Well, we did. We did. We did. We talked with some yeah. Nintendo. You, you yeah, talked with, you know, Last so, of Us. So, okay. And, so, if people were going to go home today and play something on... Just pick one game. We'll do a couple of different systems. Did, How do you do that? I don't who has know. a PS4? Okay. Does anyone up here have a PS4? What are you going to go nope. play on your PS4? Witcher 3 right now. Witcher 3? Is it good? Yeah. It got an oh my god rating. All right. Also on Steam. Dude. Also on Steam. Okay. Is it on Steam? Okay, what about Xbox 720 or what is it? The X Bone. How about the X Bone? You got it? You got it? What game do you play on the bone? Which one do you say? Xbox 360 or one? One. One. Anybody? It's cool talking to your mouthful. This is a podcast. I usually podcast with my mouthful, so. I know. I, I know. That's Teenage Alil. Let's get it right. The Division. I don't even know what that is. Is it's, it Long Division? It's a or? math game. <laughs> it's, sure. it's a math-based game. <laughs> Mavis Beacon teaches Division. <laughs> awesome. Uh, <laughs> or Division of the Dead. That would be yours. Where you cut the game in half. All right. The vision. Wii U. I, to me, we don't have a Wii U, but if I had one, Mario Maker. That would be it, man. I was just about to go there. Really? I'm not a big Mario Party guy. Martha loves it. Oh, my not... God. I hate you. You know what? But that's because... <laughs> the, Mario but the... Party is one of the greatest series. It took this long for you to hate me? I don't think so. I, I love, oh yes. Hold on, hold on. Let Mario me just. Mario Party, and then, then it's 64 Mario Party, two, three, four. I mean, amazing game. Can I just say the last, the last Mario Party game I played was the first one. That's why. I'm telling you, Mario Party. Two, I thought it was three, fun, but. Uh, and then same thing with, and you're gonna hate me for this one. Smash Brothers, I think is stupid. I don't like it. I do. And then we played it the Wii on the Wii U, and everyone, they're like, this is the greatest game. And I played it with a guy, for the Nintendo it's guy. It's a fun and he's like, button masher. Come on. And you know what? And I, there is. Well, I beat him. He's like, I've got the best character. You're going to get killed. I killed him, and he was like, dude, you're really good at this. I was like, no, it's just mashing buttons. Yeah. Okay, well, whoever you I don't played know, is I don't, not good then. Right? Yeah, it was just, but I didn't. Was it my five-year-old? Is that who you're talking about? I've played it more than <laughs> once, and every time I've, I've been like, yeah, I thought the graphics were great. It just doesn't do much. It's kind of like, remember Nintendo, or I uh, know, Sony put one out that was just like that on the PlayStation. They had a game. No. 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 It's got a it's got a weird name like Marvel versus Sony. It's got Capcom. a name like Rockadin or something, and it was a PlayStation game. Somebody has the internet here; they can look it up. And you played. I, I remember. I have it. I think I still have it. It was this weird, and it was it was their version of Smash was it, Brothers. Was it, was it multiple? I mean, how many players? I mean, the PlayStation only had two controllers. Two controllers. Two players. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's the difference of it. I mean, when you're playing. But, but it, it was when the original Mario PlayStation. When you're it came out with a thing for like one game that was like a boomerang shaped thing where you could plug in like four controllers. That's not, but this was, this was, 
was it the Battle, original Battle PlayStation? Arena Toshinden? Huh? Battle Arena Toshinden? No, I had that. That was terrible. It was, but I loved it. It was ter- me too. It was terrible. Um, anyway, somebody will look it up and be like, "Oh, this game." All had- Stars Battle Royale. No, it had a weird name. It didn't have a name like that. It was one that was put out. In fact, I think Solid Snake might have been one of the characters on this. Solid Snake? Then, yes. it, then it was Super Smash Brothers for the GameCube. No. Yes, because this he, was a that's play- the only one he was in. Then it wasn't the that. Matchup. It was, but it was one. Maybe it was one put out by Square. No, wait, no. Solid Square. Snake Brawl. Brawl, you're right. He wasn't. Okay. okay. You know what? And Square made the Smash Brothers series. They didn't make another series. Okay, then it's not Square. It's whoever it is. You need to get this right. I don't I don't have my internet here. <laughs> Somebody has the internet out there. Anyway, anyway. Okay, so, so who's going home and playing what? A Wii, Wii, Wii U. Anyone else with Wii U? I say Mario, or Mario uh, Maker. Mario Maker, uh, Splashtoon. Splatoon. Splatoon, sorry. Oh, uh, his name is If you want to knife him outside, du- DuckTales, the remake of the is NES version. I heard that's great. Love it. Those guys play it, but. DuckTales is awesome. And I forgot to bring that up in the original Nintendo. Yeah. DuckTales, great game. Stunning. Stunning, says Scott Sammons. All right. What, what's another system? So, okay. Now you get to my era where you've got the old Play- man era. PlayStation 3. Anyone playing that still? And if I were done, I'd play Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts, love it. Love Kingdom Hearts. That was a good game. Yeah, Little, Little Big Planet. Planet. Two votes for that. Planet 2, my favorite game of all time. Love it. The creativity between all the different levels is amazing. What is that? On there, I played... I played uh, you had one? I did. Well, you had it. What would you go home and play? Uncharted. The Last of Us, yes. Yes, see? There we go. Okay, how about Xbox 360? I just got that recently, actually. So what would you play? Everyone's going home. What are they playing? Teresa? I don't have it. Halo Reach. Halo Reach? Halo Reach, yeah. You guys don't play 360? I sold it. Okay. Yes, All right. It's the same. Yeah, for me, for me, it's Bioshock Infinite. That's what I'd go home and play. I'd go home and put that, put either put the headphones on or turn that stereo up, play some Bioshock Infinite. 3DS. 3DS. Okay. What would you play? Uh, I have a game that we liked. We played this. Uh, it was called Zoo, where you had the animals. Oh yeah. On Nintendo, on the on the Nintendo Wii, we had a, a game called Zoo, and it seems really stupid. Okay, I've already said I like these stupid games. <laughs> like, good. it is, it is. It's, you know which one is is even dumber is Endless Ocean, and I played the heck out of that. All you do is try to find fish. You jump in the water and you swim, and and then you see fish. And, I, it, oh, I know, and I love that. I, I don't care for any Pokemon. Pokemon Snap is it. Oh um, but zoo is the same kind of thing. You, you get animals at the zoo, and you throw a ball at them, and they run around, and then they poop, and you got to clean it up. And I love it. And you feed them. Yeah. And you build them so, habitats. It's so stupid. I love it. That's what I'm going home to play. If I went home I, and played... I would play, play that with you. Excellent. If I went home and played 3DS, I would either pick up Fantasy Life again and finish up with, well, not finish up with that, but put in another 40 hours with that. Or, 40 um, hours? Dude. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> or, uh, I know you well, um, Teresa, I know. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Probably. Teresa's actually working on getting a TARDIS so she can go back in time and spend more time <laughs> on know, Fantasy Life. You know, any other 3DS people out there? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I, I have a 2DS. Okay. So what would you play in 2DSs? Yeah. My kids are all t- young. Um, well, you know, I, I, I like the, 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 the new Mario game. Um, i trying to remember the name. It's kind of like your thing with Spider-Man. Like, you've got a thing I about... Mario. I know sorry. you do. You've got Mario OCD. Don't be sorry. It's a solid yeah. series. Mario Maker is the new one. Yeah, we well, just talked really about Wii, that. That's the Wii U. I got that yeah, one. That, we're talking 3DS now. 
Yeah. Uh, it's, it's newer. Uh, it's, it's Jacob, what is what's, it? What's, what's, what's the last game we got the Mario game on the 3DS? Oh. Excellent. Thank it's you, Jacob. Like, I don't care. No. Oh, but we skipped over Super Nintendo too much. Super Mario RPG. Oh, my gosh. That was a good one. You know what? They, they, okay. We, we got like a minute. But I, wa I want to hit some of those Mario games because that is something really interesting. I really enjoy those offshoots. Yeah. I really enjoyed RPG. I really enjoyed Paper, Paper Mario. Mario. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know what game seemed really stupid and then I couldn't stop playing was Mario Sunshine. Oh. Super Mario Sunshine is so underrated. It, it is. And it seems stupid. You turn it on and you're like, oh, they made a mess and you got to clean it up. And then they make another mess and you're like, oh my God, they're making a mess. I got to keep cleaning. OCD, OCD. They should call Mario OCD. <laughs> and so is Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion was a great game. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. I know. You know what? We've got that sitting at home right now out by our TV. Love Luigi's Mansion. You know yep. what a lot of people didn't give enough love to? Super Mario 2. You know, I love Super Mario love, 2 no, also. I love, it, I love that one as well. Uh, that, that one to me is, is great, which if people don't know the history behind Super Mario 2. If they don't know the history behind. It wasn't an uh, original uh, U.S. release. It was a remake of, was it Aladdin or something? It was, yeah. Uh, no. It was like uh, some kind of... No, I think it was an Aladdin game, wasn't it? Something like that. It was some kind of Japanese like Aladdin version game. That's why, right. like, that's that's why it's on the magic so carpet. Different. Yeah, he's yeah, on the magic carpet and he goes... It's a, called... Uh, wasn't it called like Aladdin's Dreamland or something like that? Something weird. It's something... Yeah. I, um, could, I could play it on my Raspberry Pi. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I I really like too, and and we played the heck out of that yeah, too. Yeah, me, me and my wife battle who can get the farthest without dying in two. That's yeah, you ever watch those speed players on like YouTube or yeah, Twitch? Yeah, oh, insane! They're crazy. Wow, they're crazy. get a life. Hey, <laughs> hey, I speed play Contra. I love Contra. I Everybody speed plays Contra. No, no lives. You can't die. You can't die. Oh, ding! You Game know, over. every time Rise that rings, Mario gets his wings, or a raccoon tail. Or Yoshi. Yes. And Yoshi, the Yoshi games are great, about, like, too. Like, uh, was it uh, Yoshi's Island? Yeah. Yoshi's great Island game. is great, too. Really good. All right. Was it Super Mario? Yeah, Super Mario Land 2. It's 9 o'clock. I'm ending this. All right. I can't I knew we didn't need... I knew we didn't need a show. I hate you. I have another podcast to do in an hour for six hours. Uh, oh, wham. Yeah, we usually record till 4 in the morning. Well, they, it takes that long to get an hour's worth of good material. <laughs> right. Well, that they can actually... <laughs> I'll remember that. Yeah, right. I don't care about getting good material. I try to be done in a half hour. So can we be done? Yes. Let's be Excellent. Done. Well, thank yes. you, everybody, for enjoying uh, the done. video game night. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Uh, thank you, Blue Box. And thank you, you guys. This was a lot of fun. Thanks, Teresa. Uh,